Hi. So tonight I'm in my kitchen and I wanted to try something a little bit different. So, hi Groomy. So I really enjoy cooking and I really enjoy relaxing. Merging the two, beautiful. I love trying new recipes. I love watching, Grim, can you shh? Come here. There. Ready. <laughs> Was it a good snack? Was that a good snack? Okay, okay, bye! So my favorite kind of ASMR videos to watch are cooking ones, and I love learning new recipes, so I hope you'll join me for a fun, relaxing cooking time tonight. I haven't cooked with an eggplant in a long time, but tonight I'm making a dish called Bag and Bartha. I believe that's how you say it. It's an Indian eggplant-based dish. Probably my, my all-time favorite thing to order when I get Indian food. I've never made it myself, but this recipe that I came across today really intrigues me. I know there's a lot of different ways to make stuff. I know there's more traditional ways. I'm following a recipe that somehow had everything that I already had in the house. I picked up this eggplant the other day because I knew I wanted to cook with it. At some point this week, I didn't know what I was gonna make, but this is perfect. It's like my favorite Indian dish ever. I've got all my ingredients right here and we can get started with prepping them. And I'm joined tonight by Alex's baby boy, who's very squirmy. It's just him and I. We're kicking it in the kitchen. Let's get into it. So for this recipe, I have an onion. I've got two tomatoes. I've got giant garlic. Like that's freaking huge. I've got the eggplant. I've got a green chili. And I've also got an extra jalapeno. Apparently it doesn't really matter which you use, but the jalapeno will be more spicy. I think I'm gonna play it safe and stick with the green chili though, because that's what the recipe calls for. And I've got some cilantro. <sighs> it smells so good. If you have the cilantro soap gene, just know that you are inferior. I love cilantro so much. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prep the garlic. And we're gonna do something really fun with this eggplant, and this is what drew me to really want to make this recipe today. What we're gonna do is cut some slits in the eggplant, shove some cloves of garlic inside the slits, cook the eggplant on the barbecue, get it nice and charred, delicious. And the garlic is gonna roast inside and get all squishy and cooked. I'm really excited about that whole idea. <laughs> um, but for that, we're gonna need three cloves of garlic. And for after we cook the eggplant, for the pan, we're gonna need four cloves of garlic. So now we got our three cloves, we've got the little green chili. It calls for one inch of ginger, but I'm probably gonna add a little bit more just because I really like ginger. I really like the way it like burns. Please don't clock me for how I choose to mince and chop. That ginger smells delightful. Now, to mince these four garlics. Also, I don't know if you can hear Grim snacking in the background, but it's really cute, it has little chomps. The garlic's done. Put 
tomatoes. And they just need to be roughly chopped anyways, just so they cooked up. Now we got the eggplant, and what we're gonna do is brush a little bit of oil all over it. Wipe it down. We're gonna cut some slits in the eggplant. We're going to pick three of these slits to hide our garlic in so that it gets nice and roasty toasty. And now I think I might have to do a little X. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let me in! It took a little bit of force. Okay. And the second one's tucked away in there. Good night eggplant, good night garlic. And now I'm gonna go start up the barbecue. And if you listen closely, the coals in the grill make this like little plinky noise that's really, really relaxing. So you can enjoy those plinky little sounds. I'm gonna throw it on the hot grill to make sure each side gets evenly charred and crispy because that smoky flavor is gonna be really essential here. So I'm just gonna let the skin get all blackened because that's gonna be gone anyways. And then once the eggplant is done, I'm just gonna take it back in and remove the skin. And once you take the skin off that, we're just going to mash up the eggplant. We're going to warm some olive oil in a pan, throw in our garlic and ginger and chilies. We're going to saute those for a couple minutes till they start browning. And then we'll throw in the onion, get it just a little bit translucent. And we're going to throw in our tomatoes and just going to stir those around, let them cook. And then we're going to toss in that mashed up eggplant and roasted garlic into the mix. Then throw in some red chili powder and some coriander, some salt, and then we're just going to stir it all around and let it cook and simmer for like five minutes. And then finally, we're gonna chop some cilantro, throw it on top, and that's it. And of course, the roti. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put some butter in the pan, let it melt, and throw the roti down just so we get it nice and warm and crispy. And my camera died for what was supposed to be the very last shot here, but here is some iPhone footage of me enjoying my meal. It was, it was really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this relaxing little cooking session. Let me know in the comments if you want to see any more. But anyways, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.